and we're back fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast C and Joel just Joel here again with your weekly dose of new knives from your favorite brands like Cold Steel and Max Ace Artisan Cutlery and Defcon Tour and CJRB and we so hey, sorry hit the table newest version of the Cold Steel Coban we'll go we'll go quick Originally sporting the traditional black handle and choice of plain or serrated blade, the Cold Steel Coban now comes in OD green with either a black or a satin finished black blade. Black or satin finish. Along Sorry. with blackout Sorry. model. This fixed carry is 9.75 inch overall. Has a 5.375 inch Japanese OS 8A stainless steel satin finish or black finish tanner saw blade with plain standard edge. So close. But so far. Handles are OD Green Cray X and have both a lanyard hole for additional carry options and the black Secure X belt sheath. <gasps> Look at that. And it weighs just 4.4 ounces. They start at just $44.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. There's the ding. So, take on the new color C or do you like the Coban? I liked it before. I like it now. Okay. My favorite thing about the Coban is the clip. Is it? It's sturdy. It's sturdy. Yes. That's all, you, that's all you have to say. Yeah. I wish the handle was a little thicker, but hey. No. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. I like it. Kind of reminds Unless me of like. Society. Oh well. Um, mm. That's good. That's great. Uh, it reminds me of like the mini leather necks a little. It's a little bigger, slightly different handle, but I like it. I mean, I've read that this type of knife has been very popular with like the military because of the durability, oh, style, yeah. the discreet type of profile, and the lightweight. So. Yeah. I got you. Next up on the table is the Tor Chasm T. Based on the original Chasm knife, the Chasm T is 4 inch overall. No, it's not. It's 4 inch closed. You did this last time too. 7.25 inch when fully deployed. This new model has a 3.25 inch, which is 7.25 minus 4. Stone washed 154 CM stainless tanto blade. The plain edge flat ground and Opened with dual sided thumb studs, this frame locks blade doesn't just open, it glides on phosphor, bronze washers. Mm -hmm. Finally, it's got a black 6AL4B titanium handle because there is no other type of titanium. Gray titanium deep carry tip up pocket clip, right, right pocket clip, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Comes with cleaning cloth, which Joel loves, yes. sticker, which she admires, and box, which she cannot live without. And it's all handmade in the USA. Get it for $235. Not bad, not bad. Lightknife.com, there's the ding. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I like the Tonto style better than the original Chasm blade style. I hope they release more color soon because I really like the teal they did on the original and I'd like to see it on this. Other than like the blade shape and the moving of the clip, I don't really see much difference. I think you mentioned maybe they changed the barrel spacers or the hardware a little. Yeah, there's little changes. I just think if you liked the Chasm, you like this one too. I would agree. And I still love that everything's made in the USA, including the screws. So, what do you think? <laughs> Don't I say I love it. the stuff that's made in the USA too. That's great. That's great. Thank yes. you for refraining from You're your... You're welcome. Hey, you know it'd be great. <laughs> All right. That's it. So, following the Tanto Tour is the Max Ace Amber 3 available in three different options black and gold marble carbon fiber like this one that's an option yeah makume yep and timascus mm -hmm. we have the first two to show you up close so the max ace amber 3 is 9.37 inches overall with a 4.17 inch bowler m390 steel blade that is 0 0.177 inches thick Got a whisper of jimping, but it flaunts the gray finish blade. Opened with jimp flipper stud. Look at that. And operates on MBRS bearings. This frame lock comes in the dark gray TC4 titanium or the light gray, depending on the inlay of your choice. So the Makume and the Timascus have the dark gray titanium and the carbon from one has the light gray. So. All right. These knives also feature titanium tip-up pocket clips, mm -hmm. probably 6AL4V. Probably. Zipper pouches and cleaning cloths and start at a bargain price of 270 at alanknife.com. <sighs> well, look, I get that they're 270 and more. 
if you could hold this in your hand, yeah, you would then see the difference. I have the city tell you a real quick hand. story. What? I held a <coughs> model of something that uh, Ken Onion had did the other day. Mm -hmm. It was nice. I flipped it open. I think that Reich had made it for them or something or re add somebody. Then they did the hand me the one that Ken Onion sells for eighteen hundred bucks. They look close to the same, but when you flipped it, I felt like this was like, oh my god, I pushed it so hard. And it just, I mean, it just flew Look open. It was like lights. butter. I mean, this is butter. This right here, if you could have this in your hand, this Feel is a weapon. The difference. <laughs> it, it's got some it heft. Is, oh, you're telling me that it is a weapon. It kind of is a weapon, but. Is it going to be more like a weapon like that type of thing? Well, look, you can take the end like, of it like this okay. and put it right there and just Jeez. pull back. That would work like a coupon. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's what it's called. But it's a knife, though. It's so. nice. Okay. Continue on. Anyway, so I like this knife. It's very Corvus 3 in style. However, I like that it doesn't have the thumb set on it. I don't want the thumb set. I'm going to use a flipper set. On the other hand, I don't like that it doesn't come with a pelican case. I think if on that one for two hundred, three hundred dollars, give me a pelican case. I want to see what. Yeah, I don't pelican understand case that, here. do you? No, I don't understand that. What? Maybe that's a, like a special edition. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But look at this knife. Open or closed, it's breathtaking. It's got the high end materials. Everything's flush. It works flawlessly. There's nothing else really you can add. It's a great knife. So our next one is the Defcon Cutter. So there's only one option right now, but there was a gray and a black stone wash. So. This is the only one now. All right, so you want me to tell him about this knife? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you cut me off. It's 8.25 inch so. when fully deployed. Man, I'm telling you, exhibits a dazzling. Ooh, that's oh, a big word. Yeah. Three and a half inch satin finish D2 blade. Open with a jumped flipper tab. Oops. I'm waiting on Did you. Not disengage properly. Sorry. There you go. This frame lock also has a gold anodized titanium handle with carbon fiber inlay. Look. Of course, it also features a gold anodized titanium tip-up pocket clip Yay. and lanyard hole. Comes with a cleaning cloth, velvet drawstring pouch. Mm -hmm. Wow. And hardware. And you can get a top-notch cutter for only $79.95 from AlanetKnife.com. Boss is really liking you with dropping nice. these prices every week. Drop it like it's You're hot. doing it all. Mm. I'm going to go with A plus on this one as well. Titanium and carbon fiber, extras for only 80 bucks. Free shipping from AK. I mean, Defcon knows how to make a deal, okay? I mean, they had the most budget-friendly fixed blade last year with those really cool Oh, that's what you were sheets. talking about earlier. Yes. Yeah. That I had remember the little that. lip on them that other people were trying to copy. Had like the copper really tone handle on one. Yes, it, it kind of nice. kind of looks a little like this, a little bit more. I don't think they've went up much this year. If I don't any. think so. Exactly. So, I wish they were to release more stuff like this. I mean, it's nice. What about you? I, I hope I wish they release more stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, they do actually. Very unique stuff that you don't find at that price level. Like the is it the Peregrine? That's yes, another one. It's I like an eighty-five dollar knife. That's I mean, nice. titanium. It's, I mean, yeah, they got a lot of stuff. It's just unique. You can't find Pandering. other places. So, we're on to the following carry on the table, and that is the artisan Cirrus. Yep. But first, like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way, you'll be the first to be told about our new videos that drop. You'll also be entered in giveaways, so right now on both YouTube and AK's blog, we're giving away the Mega Max the prize pack, which includes a Max Ace titanium folder. Ooh. That is nice. Ah. It's name Akume, but. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> and you also get a case, a hat, and a t shirt. Mm. I know. You guys can't wait to put this baby on. Have odd sleeve lengths. I have one. Nice. Way to drop it. Good job. I know. I dropped it like it's hot. You ready? In honor of Warner Wolf, on to the Cirrus. That's great. Several color and material choices for this knife. Mm -hmm. OD Green Micarta, Burgundy Micarta, Blackout G10, and even a titanium option. Yep. Blades come in AR, RP, M9. Ha! Got it right. That's great. And S35VN. We've got one of each to show you. Go ahead. Sure. Yep. So, start off with the Burgundy Micarta option. 
It is 8 inches overall, a 3.5 inch satin finish, S35VN steel blade, and flat grind. No jimping, but drop point is deployed swiftly and easily with either the thumb stud or... Oh. Yeah, you can just pretend. Front, front flipper. This leather lock features strength ball bearings and a tip-up right carry pocket clip. Handle is Mikado on this one, which is nice. Black G10 on the other, which is not bad either. Blade steel on the plain black model is ARRPM9. Yep. The pivot cap accent is a little different color, which in this case we like. But both come with boxes and drawstring pouches. You can get serious with the Artisan Cutlery Series starting at only $69.99 from Atlantknife.com. You wanted to do a Harry Potter reference, didn't you? I thought about no, it. I know you did. I knew you did. I can just serious think black, yep. yeah. All right. Here's where I'm at with this. Serious I've seen black. this one before. I can't remember who. Uh, maybe it's Kaiser. Or the same uh, person. Very similar knife like the Lundquist. Lindquist. Ray uh, Laconico did this one. So it's probably something similar he did. Uh, feist. Feist. Yeah. Um, I like this knife. I like it's this not. One, I like this one more than the Feist. Thing. I do too, actually. I it's like this longer. because yeah. you called it burgundy. Mm -hmm. To my manly eyes, it's purple. Yeah, purple, so maybe burgundy. it's burgundy. I don't know. Art Artisan calls it burgundy. That's maybe it I is. Maybe it. to a woman's eyes, it's burgundy. No, it looks purple. But I actually like this thing. A woman's eyes. Well, men don't always see the same as colors as women do. We so. know. Wait we a know. minute. I wonder if that means if I change, I can see colors differently. Wow, you just mm. made that joke. Are you serious right now? And maybe you'll <sighs> you win a swim meet too. Why don't, why don't you just ding me and you you can. You know, give me a three-day suspension or something oh, no. for inappropriate, inconsiderate behavior or whatever you want to it's, call it. It's all right. What do they? What do they say? Biggest? What do they? What do they say now? I don't even know what they say. I don't okay. know, but I didn't do that thing where you call out like Bruce Jenner. <laughs> it's Caitlyn now. Gosh. <laughs> dead naming, shaming. I don't she care. Dead naming. <laughs> what <laughs> does that mean? I don't know, but I can show you. Okay, so that's great. So I like the look of the wow. Well, Look at this blade. They did a nice job on the bevel on top, and I like the slimness of this knife. It's something you could easily just slide into your pocket, but the Makarta is rough enough that your hand isn't going to lose its grip. Nice work, Ray Laconico. I'm Very not nice. crazy about the opening mechanism. The single-sided thumb stud and the front flipper are just just not for me. I mean, yeah. but they can't all be back flippers. I get that. So, Front flippers. Gotcha. Yeah. We're hitting the max They can't ace. all be back flippers. Because this is not a back right. flipper. That's right. They can be front flippers, and we don't like that. Oh, and you know what? I didn't even. Why does this? Why does this always happen that it has a built-in lanyard hole, and I never see it? That's eh, all right. It's probably because I just everybody ignore, uses it I, anyway. Knew, I ignore lanyard holes like this because this is just an insult to a lanyard hole. Sorry, Ray. <laughs> just put a hole through the, through the through the scales. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, it reminds me of an, an older guy, like 50 years old. He's kind of balding. He's in a Subaru. And he said, I wish I really had a lanyard hole so I could hang this from my keychain. Wow, you are making all the reference. <laughs> but can you can you picture yourself trying to put that little tiny You have to get that one stupid on one that has that little black it's loop. Gotta, you got to get your own like needle to sew it You can't have a big manly through. paracord, you know, so you can use it for other stuff. <sighs> We're hitting the next knife. Go ahead. All right. Maxis Balance M 2.0. So, it's offered in, you want to count them? Four options. That's great. Black. Gray, blue, purple, and yellow. See, this this is like definitely that in your is, face that, purple. That's purple. Yeah. We've got black and purple options. It's 8.46 inches when open and 4.72 when closed. Pretty hefty, I would say that. Hefty. It's got a 3.74 inch stone wash finished bowler M390 blade, which I'm starting to like, by the way. Mm hmm. Jimping and, and a gem flipper tab. Yep. For opening. Handleless G10. And it has stainless steel liners. G10 color along with the titanium accents, which is the pivot cap cover, the tip-up pocket clip, and backspacer slash liner hole. All vary in color, so you either get the gray on the options like the purple and the yellow and the gray-blue, or you get the gold like on the black one. So these liner locks are just $99.84 from... Atlantic Knife. Yeah. Dot com. There's the ding. You can have it. All right, so what you're telling me is I get a nice, solid mm -hmm. M390 blade. Mm-hmm, with titanium accents. Yeah, but I get stainless steel liners, which mm -hmm. I don't really care about. 
and G10 handle. Mm-hmm. For a hundred bucks. Yep. And you get the box. I think I'd take that. I'm not much of a oh my god titanium frame lock you know I'm not really killing steel it's gonna do the same deal now the blade I, I like the M390 blade I think this is a I think this is an awesome deal what do you think I like them they're not as fancy as say the no. number three or the Corvus three but they're also not as pricey it does have the big M390 blades a good size and those little you know quality titanium details that set that sets them apart. Mm -hmm. Max Ace has taken the time to do things right instead of always choosing the most money saving because usually it's like pennies but most money saving design and I respect that I like that they put in a you know, little extra time little extra money and it pays off because it makes it look makes them look better. I also find that utterly ridiculous you know like you know if people actually knew how much it costs for a manufacturer to make the clip titanium instead of stainless steel exactly and it, you know it just to, to skimp on that stuff is just Silly. silly. All right. And you know, just you know what silly. That means, don't like you? a silly rabbit. Go ahead. Okay. We reached our second to last knife on the table. CGRB Caldera. <sighs> At least we got one more, guys. One more knife after this. It's good. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. So this carry comes in two options. Okay. Gray, blue, and red. That's gray, blue. And, then and red. red. There you go. We have both to show you. So this folder is 8.3 inch overall with a 3.5 inch black PVD coated AR RPM9 cleaver style blade. Open with a thumb hole or jet flipper tab. Damn. This linen lock is built for all your daily cutting tasks. There's a G10 handle and either black red or black blue with Let lanyard hole and black tip up pocket clip. Yeah. That's one side of right. What? The pocket clip, or is it? Uh, no, it's reversible. Nice, very nice. Reversible pocket clip there. That's awesome. Atlanta Knife is exploding with savings, people. As the Caldera is just 69 dollars 59 dollars You should have said $69.99. Nay, nay. I drop it to $59.99. $59.99. But wait. There's more mm -hmm. from AtlantaKnife.com. Tell them, Mike. You get them ship free shipping. There it is. And no sales tax unless you live in Virginia. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry, Virginians. Virginians? Yeah, Virginians. What do you think? Well, I think CGRB is trying really hard to come up with their own penguin type of thing. And although I do think they have some really good budget folders, I do like these. I'm not sure they found the penguin or the proponent like their sister company did. Mm -hmm. I, they're nice. They're good budget knife. Style is a little different because it does have that little like divot for your finger. It doesn't have any jimping. They could have put a little jimping there, but mm -hmm. I, it's a little different. I'm not crazy about it. It's nice. How are you feeling about the knife? No, same way. I mean, I like it. It kind of reminds me of the, the tigress. Tigress, yeah. Yeah, and I kind of agree with you. They're trying to find their thing. They they had it with the cleaver style. They did. They ran it off in a bunch of different copper and. But they just never kept up with demand. And then they did it with the Feldspar and the Agave. But then they ran out. And then by the time they caught up, it wasn't there. I'm not sure this one's going to be it. I mean, I do like how it fits your hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is... I've said this before. I don't know what it's it is. It's for my hand. I mean, it like hangs there. And I like the uh, backspacer, even though it doesn't serve a purpose. Um, it's nice. It's got a little... No, it's right here on the collarbone. <laughs> You gotta take it and drive it in. Okay. You don't watch the YouTube Detroit uh, police guy, do you? No. Oh no, man, I don't. he'll take the weapon out of your hand. He's pretty awesome. I for a chubby guy. I don't watch that that often or ever. I watch the guy that it gets the scammers in India. Those oh, are the, you're talking those about those are the ones I go down uh, the rabbit peaches, hole. Peaches. Uh, what's his name? Some with, not peaches. Some with a P. I pierogi. Pierogi. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. He sends like bombs that explode. I spend my life on YouTube. That's all I do. Well, okay. you found the people. There all is. right, so. I am the people. <laughs> and you know what that means? We've reached our final knife for this week. Mm -hmm. It's the Wii Mini Malice. Five options, guys, though only three are in stock as of the uh, this filming. So. Two. Those are the Blackout, the Bronze, and the Dem Silver. Oh, three, version. you're correct. However,. There was a gray and blue option, so when we'll get those back, I have no idea. But we'll be back eventually, hopefully. Anyways, this button lock folder from Wii is 6.92 inches overall with a 2.98 CPM 20CV 
steel drop point blade. Finish is very so. This one has the like silver bead blast finish. The blackout's got the black stone wash. Very nice. The mm -hmm. flat ground blade operates on caged ceramic ball bearings. Because there's no other kind. Mm -hmm. And it's the point of the jet flipper stud. Did or you hear that? did you hear the ting? Show us I the, the show ting. us the button. Look at that. Handle along with the tip up pocket clip is six AL four V titanium. Mm -hmm. Lastly designed by Ferrum Forge, this mini malice comes with pouch, cleaning cough, stickers, and begins at only two fifty four from a knife dot com. Wow. It was so shocked. Mm. So go ahead, you can go first with well, the blackout. I can't argue with it. Um you know make this knife better? Automatic. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> kind of needs it. But it swings open nicely. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's probably better than the original Malice. Mm. No, it. I think it is. At 6.92 inches, my yeah, hand comparison. still fits completely on it. I mean, it's, you know, a little tight, but it's a little tight. I think it'd be a good uh, good user and nice button lock. I would, I would have one, but mm -hmm. I like the bronze one better. Oh, do you? Well, yeah. I really like this chunky little button lock. I mean, we has done a few button locks with their budget company, Civivi, mm -hmm. like the Cogent, the Conspirator, the Chevalier. I think they even did a few Elementums yep. in button lock form. However, we has only done one other one besides the original Malice, and that was the Culex. I'd say this is just as nice as that, maybe even a little mm. more. I, of course, would rather have the blue one because the way we does blue... It looks amazing. I liked it in the moat and everything else, the kite, and all the ones they've done in blue, I loved. <sighs> this is just, it opens so nicely, it closes so nicely. The original Malice was like 8.13, which I feel like I would like better. Just a slightly larger. It had a bowler arm 390 blade, titanium handle. They didn't really change anything except made it, make it smaller. So. I feel like they could have made 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 like a, a little change, like maybe change the cutouts, maybe had less, or changed the blade shape a little. But I'm not disappointed. It's nice. All right. Yeah. Since that was the final carry, make sure you guys like, share, and comment, and subscribe, please. Before you go, along with ringing that bell. The magic word. Yep. So you're linked Give to me. all things knives and outdoor with AK. And you get entered into the Mega Max prize pack giveaway. You can answer the aka trivia question or do the blog uh answer or the blog answer the blog question or do the youtube thing you know it's your choice link for the blog trivia question is in the description below finally we're on all those social media sites like facebook pinterest reddit youtube instagram and rumble we're on twitter but we don't respond no we don't, we don't post tweet. about three years we haven't maybe four i don't even remember the last tweet we did i could i couldn't i it. saw a rainbow it was pretty was it I don't know. I was trying to come up with something, but I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. I just like, you know what? I can't stand this. Okay. AK deals. And all the latest info all day, every day. Right here. And don't forget our podcast on Spotify, guys. We are working on the next episode. Next couple episodes, actually, right now. So you can listen or watch. I think you can only watch on Spotify. Episodes one through three right now to get up to speed. And with that, favorite knife this week, see, go. Favorite knife this week, see, yes. go. Favorite knife. I'm going to go with... The. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already know which one you're going with. So just randomly. Camera girl knives. wants me to go here. Okay, I will say my honorable mention is the uh, Max Ace Balance, Balance M2.0, but my winner and by unanimous decision. Unanimous? Yes. Is, the is that just you? We Mini Malice Button Lock. That's what you're going with. That's what I went with. Oh, honorable mention of the Balance. Whoa! You know what? We're all There's just There's some drugs, returns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go with the Amber 3. I, I just have to. I have to. It's nice. It's not just nice. I it's was gonna brilliant go with it. is what it is. Man, I knew you would. The brakes aren't just fine. They're brilliant. All right? The driving brakes. Saw. This, this is awesome. Who saw? Irv. What the hell I got saw? <laughs> this is so nice. I just, I have to put it down or I'm going to end up, I'm going to be broke. All right. <sighs> with that, I'm C. And this is? Jewel. Just Joel, Jeez. and we are. Who does that? Nobody. Oh, that's great. Signing off. That's great.
just, just got cut, some heft. Just collect it and cut things, not people. Collect it and we're not gonna cut people. We're talking <sighs> self defense. Were, did you see yourself? You're like, yeah. Just draw it back. Why watched, would I open the knife then? You wouldn't even need to open it. I would get too close. You could take this right across somebody's nose. That's already oh my too gosh. close. Gosh. I, I got these babies. Oh. For to the nose. Do they have names? Yes, they do. <laughs> is it it's butter and cream out. cup? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, is it butter? No, it's lights out. No, I thought you good. named them after kitties. No, okay. I don't have. Well, That's I okay. have a couple, but they they have manly names like Simba and Mr. Fluff. <laughs> okay, it's Mr. Okay. I love you all. <laughs> Smack me in the face and Isn't wreck me off the camera. Uh, they love oh they love me they love me isn't that what it you says? like me you really like me i thought it was from a uh, mask it does he's copying uh sarah from mrs doubtfire when she does it he stole it from her from sarah yeah i think her first name's sarah the woman in mrs doubtfire who plays the mom whatever her name is sally fields sally fields okay yes Where she did she, do she it did it on some type of like oscar winning did she really yes and so they took it from her She's like, oh, she's like, you like me. You really like me. Oh. That's how she does it. And so uh, Jim Carrey was making fun of her in the mask. So, are we off? I was pretending to talk to a camera that's not on. Oh, that's great. That's great, camera girl. You just do it for your. If nope. you don't pick one up, Joel's gonna take Mr. Fluff to you. That's great. I <sighs> said lights out. That's the cat's name. These, you know what, I'm not even gonna with you.